Guys, I just wanted to open up today to say, hey, we picked some of the apples, the crab apples, and that I am gonna show you what I'm gonna make with them. So it was a whole lot. We took the tarp that's on the ground. And as we took the tarp, we took and um, held all four corners and each one of us, Cody shook the tree and we we got this many and my goodness if we had picked them sooner there are so many on the ground it's just unbelievable how many there are on the ground so the, the tree did really well bruce is working on the car but look there's even a few still left up there in the tree so <laughs> say hi guys hi guys Okay, so I have them in the house. They're getting rinsed right here and then they're going in the steam reducer and then I'm going to take them over to the steam reducer. Hey guys, so there's the steam reducer on the um, oven stove and the, there's water down here in the bottom if you're not familiar with this and the fruit or whatever goes in here and then I mean the fruit goes in here and the steam creates here and this is where the juice goes and look. You can see they're already getting broken down. And let's and, see how much water is in there. Yep, and you always want to check your water. Keep your water filled, and there goes the juice into the tube. You always and need look. to come back and drain it like this. Yeah, because it fills up in this bottom part in the ring. And this I'm a part little here. less than halfway down there now, see it? Yeah. So you have to be real careful. That will run out on you faster than you think. So this, this is where the juice collaborates right here and it's it's in a um like a little well and then you just tip, tip it and it comes right on out and they sell these on amazon yeah they're not very expensive and we've had ours for probably 10 years and just like everything else we didn't know about it so somebody told us and we're like duh shazam <laughs> we're getting one of those <laughs> Just a whole nother colander full, and this is one of those large colanders. All right, guys, so this is where you want to just keep filling your water up in the bottom. What do you think, Bruce? About right there? A little bit more. Keep going, keep going. Since we're going outside, the water the time. All right. All right. There we and go. we have done grapes in here, we've done apples. Um, what else? We've, we've done pears too. Scup or not? Oh, blackberries. My yeah. gosh, we done so many blackberries one year yeah. and made like, I don't know, about 30 half gallon jars yeah, of we, blackberry juice. It's a real good way to use it. And we've store. done blueberries. And then you can water back in that juice and that half And gallon. then, of course, I took and made, took the blackberries and, um, from the juice and made, uh, blackberry jelly. Yeah, it's a real good way to be out a lot of stuff. Okay, just wanted to show you how that they have went down some. And what we do is we just keep piling them right on top and we let it go. But look in here, we have got quite a bit. Look at that. I would say ooh, maybe, but two gallons, almost two gallons. We're putting it in jugs now, glass jugs, so that we can... Um, Cool it down. Cool it down, and before we uh, put it in the trays. Put a freeze dryer. Yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Skyler wants to say hi, and you see all those crates right there? That's all full of peppers. The Gear Bear pig. Yeah, yeah, Garrett helped us pick them. All right, guys, so now that we've got all the juice chilled, we're going to go ahead. You could pre-freeze this if you would like. Um, we found it uh, easier for us that if we just go ahead and um, pour it from here. But what, what we're going to be making is when I was at the farmer's market working, the lady coming out of the clear blue, she had come from the horn of the Upper Peninsula, and she was telling me about taking my crab apples and turning them into pectin by freeze drying the juice. So here we go. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. All right. So Bruce wants me to do it this way. 
And how how will I know, Bruce, about how far? Go slow. Okay. All right, guys. So what we should do is we're going to go ahead and pour this. What what we always do, like with the eggs, is we do them and then we carefully put them in. So. All right, guys. So I got all five of the trays. This is the large um, harvest, right? And they are not quite all the way full, full. So I have found in the past that you're going to need a little expansion. So you go ahead and just fill them up like that. Now we're going to go ahead. If, if you want to look here, this is what I had. I had three of these um, half gallons. So gallon and a half. And um, I'll take this and I'll put this in my super cubes and free freeze it and then go ahead and put it in in one of my next loads. So I'm going to go ahead and put my peel it in. Even though, but Bruce requires it going in. <laughs> and then we're going to go not frozen and continue. Did you close the drain? Yes. I I did my job, boss. Okay. Freezing. All right. We'll see what happens. How many hours? Oh, gosh. I'm going to go with 42. All right. All right, guys. So what we have here now is we've got one more tray left. I'm, I've been chopping it in the bowl because I found that putting it in the food processor, it, and if it's still sticky, of course, it didn't want to even food process. It just kind of like gummed up, kind of like cotton candy after it gets like wet, kind of that, that feeling. So I went ahead and put it back on for another 10 hours. So we have a total of now 52 hours. So a little bit extra time. It came out this time, not sticky. It's the, the powder, the one I had already done in the food processor was much better feeling so now this time instead of doing it and you want to do one tray at a time don't bring them all out at one time because even the moisture uh gets to it but um the girl said a half a cup for each batch of jam that you do so i'm gonna i'm not gonna have time to give this to go before but i wanted to go ahead and put the video out there because i, I knew others how to have crab apples at this time and also you want to uh, make sure that um, as far as like the pectin goes for it, what I, well, I was going to say something else about it. you have any input? Well, we'll know, we'll know if it's worth it once we make some jam with it because it's been a, a long process to steam the apples, to Whoa. do the juice. Oh, come on, Bruce. That wasn't that bad. 50 hours in the freeze dryer the juice and let's see if it works it may be the best little thing that's ever happened and it may be okay but just that's one what of those things because i have i have to leave first i have to be a long way five hours away from here tomorrow morning and um and that's why i run out of time that's what i was going to tell you yeah we're going to go to warren's wisconsin to the cranberry festival so you guys come on out have some fun with us yeah, they say it's a, a big show. How many? 1,500 vendors. Yeah, 1,500 vendors. <laughs> the entire town is uh, uh, just taken over by the vendors. vendors. They got cranberry bogs. I mean, 800 arts and craft vendors alone. Kind of a picker's market. We'll be in the farmer's market part. So I think out of the whole process, you'll get two half-gallon jars full. And like I said, she said a half a cup. So, you know, if, if somebody else gets time to get, make a jam before, you know, let me know. Or have already done this process. Honestly, you know, this was new to us because we, we only had crap apples one time in our life. Um, when I, we, we rented back in the, gosh, early 90s. So, and Stop I, being a blue tick. All right, guys. Well, let me fill <laughs> this last jar up and I'll show you what we got. All right, guys, there you have it. Two half gallons full. So they look really nice. They're, they're not going to move much because they are still kind of like a stickery. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know how to Google that. It's stickery. <laughs> a sticky powder um, still. But 
I think, I honestly, the best method would be like to take them out, put them in the food processor, then put the tr stuff back into the freeze dryer after it's in the powder form. And that way, so it, seem to do it, it seemed to do a lot better. So let me know how, how, when you do it or whatever, how it works out.